So my name is Kim and I work in the Faculty of Science and thank you so much for um, coming out today and um, spending your time with us to hear about the Bachelor of Science Advanced Research, um, the Honours Degree, the four-year degree. Uh, we have the fabulous course director, which is Associate Professor Vanessa Wong, um, here with us today, and she will be sharing with you information about the program, um, as Vanessa's role is to look after the students and to also to look after the, the program and the students within the program as well. So if you have any questions um, throughout the session, please feel free to pop them in the Q&A function at the bottom of your screen, and I'll turn my camera off and I'll hand it over to the lovely Vanessa. So uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Kim. Um, so I'm the course director of the Bachelor of Science Advanced Research, as Kim mentioned. Um, so that's part of my role. And um, I'm also uh, just a regular teaching and research academic in Monash as well. So um, what I've been asked in the past is what I actually do outside of coordinate um, this course. And I'll just give you a bit of a brief background about what I do um, outside of being a course coordinator and then um, and then we'll get into the, um, the course itself. So I am a soil scientist. So I'm a trained, I guess, um, I'm a trained soil scientist or um, environmental scientist, as, um, as I tell everybody. And I teach in the School of Earth, Atmosphere and Environment. Um, and we get to do some pretty cool stuff um, and go, some pretty, go to some pretty cool places. Um, in terms of looking at soils, I look at how soils interact with plants, looking at greenhouse studies. And I get to use a pretty cool technology, um, high-end technology, that is, um, to, to study soils, including the, the synchrotron, which um, is just across the road from Monash. Um, and we have this um, Cave 2 um, visual immersive um, platform, which, um, which I also use to, um, to, to study soils as well. So, um, yeah, so broadly, I'm an environmental scientist and I study what happens below our feet. Um, but also I coordinate the Bachelor of Science Advanced Research degree. And, um, and I really love doing that because um, this, I, I really enjoy interacting with the students um, because everybody really loves science. And it is a course for you if you love science, much like I do. So why should you choose Bachelor of Science Advanced Research? Um, you can work alongside some of the best academics in the world. And we have some, um, some amazing academics um, at, at Monash in, in the Faculty of Science. And that includes people who um, have been recently um, elected to the Australian Academy of Science, including um, Stephen Chow. Um, we have other people working on gravitational waves through um, in, in our physics, uh, in our um, School of Physics and, and Astrophysical Physics and Astronomy. Um, and we have some, um, people who are working on, I guess, real world problems in, in the School of Chemistry and applying, uh, applying what, what they do um, to, to solve some of the world's biggest problems. So our people um, and our alumni are found all around the world and we, are, we answer um, some of the world's most pressing questions. So this course will actually connect you to those people and I help with, the, with those connections as well. Um, this course is quite flexible, so you'll be able to uh, accelerate your learning according to your own interests and, and abilities. So in this course, in, in some cases, you can, um, you can accelerate and take some second year units in the first year of your study, um, or we provide entry into the advanced versions of, of some of those units as well. So, um, so you're not sort of constrained within um, the, the really tight framework of, um, of some, some of our other courses. You'll also graduate with some really strong skills in terms of teamwork, working um, with, with your peers, um, collaboration, communication, project management, and the ability to collect, organise, analyse, interpret, and present data. And all of that occurs in the units that you study, but also in the core units of, um, in the core unit of this course, in, um, in, in the research project units. And we provide you ample opportunity for research within this course, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. We also provide you with academic mentors, which is different to, um, to some of the other courses. So you'll be connected to some of our academics from your first year. And sometimes as a first year student, that can be quite daunting um, 
heading or, or, or knocking on, on somebody's door or, or emailing an, an academic and, and asking them um, a bunch of questions because you're really interested in what they study. So we help with that and, and I help with that um, by providing those, those connections just to sort of take um, some of that, I guess, um, just to make that a little bit easier. Um, you also have your very own common room. Um, so the, um, the, the university um, is quite large and our first year cohort is also quite, quite large as well. So our common room, the advanced um, science common room provides you with a space to connect with other advanced students. And so that means you can chat to other people within your course, you can talk to the, the other senior students, you can ask them questions and you can meet with other people within your cohort as well. So it just provides you with a nice space to get to know um, people within um, within your degree. And um, when international, when, when our borders open, we also provide you opportunities for international research. So we have a number of agreements with universities that, that are overseas, um, including the University of Warwick. Um, we have the Monash Leipzig uh, Exchange Program, and we also have a number of other, um, other relationships with, um, with overseas university. So those scholarships are available to, to you once, um, once those borders open. So in terms of the course structure, um, I really like this course because, um, as I said, I love science and you can fill your entire course with science. Uh, and this is uh, a little bit different to, to some of the other courses um, that are available at Monash and also at some of the other universities as well. So you can do all science in, in this degree should, should you choose. So this is really what, what the course structure looks like. Um, there's all these science units. There is one um, core unit that, that you need to do in first year, which is um, the maths, um, we call it a maths requirement. So it's the first year maths unit or um, a statistics unit, or you can take a coding unit as well that, that fills that space. So we have that core component in first year, um, and then the rest is, is science. There are four electives um, in, in the degree that you can elect to, um, and you can elect to take those units outside of science, or you can take other science units, or you can take um, additional units um, within the, I guess, where, within the school that where, where, you're, um, where, where you're located or, or your, your home, um, your, your home home school. There are 25 majors which cover the biological and life sciences, the biomedical sciences, the chemical and physical sciences, and the maths and computational sciences. And um, that provides you with um, uh, the breadth of, um, of science disciplines um, across, the, across the university and across two faculties as well. You can combine these majors to work towards specific careers that you're particularly interested in. So, for example, if you're really interested in paleontology, you might want to study uh, the earth sciences and a biology or a major which is um, located in the School of Biology. If you want to work in, for example, forensics, you could study genetics and genomics together with chemistry. Um, if you want to become a psychologist, you could study the, um, you could take the psychology extended major together with physiology. Um, if you want to work in cancer research, you can study human pathology and in immunology. So there is um, a, a range of different combinations which can work together to help you uh, get, get to where, where you want to be or sort of to, to complement um, different, um, di different areas depending on um, where, where you want to go. There are particular course requirements um, in, in this degree. So um, it's a little bit more structured than the, bachelor, than the straight Bachelor of Science. So within the advanced research um, degree, you need, to, um, you need to take either two science majors um, out of that list that I just shown you before, or an extended major sequence, um, plus a minor sequence in, in different science disciplines. So, um, so that means, again, if you're sort of looking towards building towards a particular degree, those two areas complement each other quite nicely. There is one core component um, in that you need to complete uh, a third year research project unit, which is relevant to your major. It doesn't mean that um, you're restricted to only one um, third year research project unit. If you want to take a research project unit in both of your majors, um, that's perfectly fine as well. 
And then there is the core fourth year honor studies, which is um, a core component of this um, of this course, which again is um, is a bit different from the Bachelor of Science. So you need to maintain um, a relatively high performance. So you need to uh, maintain an average of more than seventy percent across all of your science units in each academic year. So that means you need to maintain a distinction average in all of your science units. Um, you also need to maintain full-time enrollment. So that's, uh, that means that you need to be enrolled in four units per semester or eight units per year. Um, this is a course requirement, but um, if there are special circumstances or particular circumstances, that, um, that uh, or extenuating circumstances, um, part-time enrollment can be considered or, um, or a decrease to three units per semester can also be considered as well. But also keep in mind that um, you have to finish this degree within six years. So, um, so part-time enrollment starts to get a little bit tricky if you don't, um, if you don't make that up or you don't um, shift into, back into full-time enrollment at some point. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there are four electives that you're able to take in this um, in this course. So you can choose those electives from anywhere across the university. Um, like I said, um, you can do more science units. Um, I would choose more science units, as I said, because I love science. Um, but a number of students also, also take other units like languages from the Faculty of Arts. Um, some, of, some units um, take a, use all four of those units um, to, to focus on a particular language. You can take uh, units from engineering and business and economics. In some cases, um, you need written permission to enrol in some of those units. But again, we can work through that. Um, you can take units from the Faculty of Information Technology. So if you're in, really interested um, in, in IT, then um, there are some units that can complement what we cover in, in the Faculty of Science. There are some units in medicine that are available to our, to, to our students um, and other units um, which you may require written permission. And again, we'll, we'll help you with that if that's something that um, you're interested in. There is, um, you can take fine arts. Um, um, and fine arts is offered at the Caulfield campus. And again, um, you may need some written permission, but again, we'll help you with that if that's something you're interested in. Or as I said, more science units to, to, fill, those, to, to fill those electives. So there is flexibility if you don't want to do all science, but if you do want to do all science, um, you, that, that's definitely available to you as well. One of the um, really neat things about this degree is that um, we provide you with research project opportunities throughout the degree. And that doesn't mean that you just need to wait until your third year to complete your core um, your core research project. Um, you can start, um, start, you can start enrolling or you can start completing research projects at the end of your first year. So um, we offer what we call a research first program, which is a summer scholarship program, which uh, students can apply for at the end of their first year. And this is um, this is a fantastic opportunity to get to know some of the academics in the faculty, but also uh, to, to work on a topic that you're really you're, you're particularly interested in. Um, and the best thing about this program is you get paid to do it. So um, these are summer scholarship programs, and there is a stipend uh, attached to it. Um, so you get paid to 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 work on research on the research project, which is really neat. In second year, um, there are um, some research project units that are offered in the School of um, Physics and Physics and Astronomy, and also in, in the School of Chemistry. So, um, so those units can actually count towards your degree. And there are other units that are available um, by, by negotiation as well. So you can um, start to enrol in research project units in, in your second year. At the end of your second year, there are a number of other or additional summer research project opportunities and they're advertised on our scholarships website. So, um, so again, you have another opportunity to get paid to do, uh, to do research or to work on a research project, which is fantastic. In your third year, you have your third, um, third year mandatory or your core research project unit. And this is available in all disciplines um, and it's what, uh, it's a core component of, of the of the degree and this is what everybody um, works on and again um, it allows you the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with a, a supervisor in an area that you're that you're really interested in 
And finally, um, oh, well, sorry, there, um, we also, as I said earlier, we also offer international research exchange um, when, um, when, when borders are open or when, um, when international travel uh, opens up again. And finally, we also have our fourth year honours project, which is where you devote an entire year to working on a research project in an area of, of your choice. So, um, so if there's a particular topic or a particular discipline that you're really interested in, this is where you sort of start to spend a lot of a lot more time looking at it in in depth. And to and I know sort of talking about research projects can be a little nebulous, and you you may be sitting there thinking, well. What exactly is a research project? What can you do in some of these research projects, particularly at the end of your first year? So I've put together uh, some um, examples of, of research projects that have been completed by students um, in, in the past. So this is an example of a research first project. So this was um, completed by a student who uh, at the end of their first year, so it was part of that um, research first summer scholarship program, and what they did was they labelled cancer cells with fluorescent molecules um, to visualise and quantify microtubule density. Um, and it basically what, what they were looking at were they were looking to, to develop um, or they were looking to analyse the effects of um, an anti-cancer drug on the, way that, um, on the way that cancer cells form. So that's really quite neat. And this is what um, is available to, to students um, at, the end, at the end of their, their first year. So, um, so this is, these are just um, some images, some 3D images of, of, what they, of what they found as well. So they collected all of this data and they presented it in this way. And what's also really um, neat with these research first projects is that um, some students have been, have turned their first year research project into a, a journal article journal articles. So they've been published um, in, um, in the scientific literature. So Keith Wong um, completed this, um, this um, um, particular study um, in, in, his, uh, in his research first program and it ended up being um, and it ended up being published and you can see here um, in the acknowledgements that it was um, the it was um, supported by the research first undergraduate research program. Um, so there is um, opportunity to also contribute to um to the broader scientific discipline or your scientific discipline and to contribute to, to knowledge in in that space which i think is yeah fantastic at second year um this was a really nice example of a second year research project and this was completed by a student who had enrolled in the second year um, research project unit and completed it a quarter wall and completed and counted count towards their, their degree. So here um, it was a physical chemistry project and they looked at um, synthesizing gold nanowires um, for, um, for a range of different applications, including new optoelectronic devices. So, um, so again, this is something that they did during their course. And then um, as a, another example, in terms of a third year research project unit, this was a third year astrophysics um, research project where they looked at um, the connection between fast radio bursts, mag uh, magnetar giant flares and gravitational waves to make a model uh, for, for the gravitational waves to predict um, the possibility for, for detecting them. So um, we have a really strong group um, working on gravitational waves in, um, um, at, at Monash and, um, and a lot of students have worked on a number of different research projects in, in that space. So, um, so there's all, all sorts of possibilities that, that are available to, to students. Um, in addition to, um, to these research project units, as I said earlier, um, we offer um, the opportunity uh, for, to, to connect with mentors, not just academic mentors, but we also provide the space to, um, to connect with um, senior students um, within the, the bachelor within the bachelor of science advanced research and also with um, PhD students so alumni of, of this course as well and what this does is that it creates a sense of belonging within our academic department so you know you have you know that you have a home and you're welcomed within um, within these departments so um, and so as I said we provide these opportunities very early on in, in the degree so this is a, an example from um, an the, the academic mixer back in 2019, because um, we, we weren't able to hold this in, in 2020, last year in 2020. 
And so an academic mixer is organised by the senior students of the advanced research degree and um, it's open to everybody in the degree. And this is again an opportunity to meet other students within, um, within the course, but also um, it's an opportunity to have a chat to, um, to academics in a, a less formal setting. So, um, so academics will also attend this and, um, and you can have a chat to them about what they do, what they're interested in, what their research areas are, um, and, and any other questions that, that you may have. And, um, and it just makes it a little bit more accessible as, as well. Um, within this course, you also have, um, we also start with um, OCAP and a research tour. So um, this year, um, we actually ran OCAMP, which was super exciting. Um, and we ran OCAMP um, as a combined first and second year um, camp because the students last year were unable to, um, and, and unable to attend. So OCAMP is open only for advanced research students. And it's a camp, again, to get to know your cohort. So what we do on camp is um, you have a tour of some of the high-end research facilities on, on campus. So, um, so this is a, an example of one of those facilities in the, um, in the School of Biological Sciences, um, looking at some model organisms. So they're looking at zebrafish, um, which are model organisms for a range of different research projects. Um, and this is, um, is the example of the CAVE2, which is that visual immersive um, platform, immersion platform that, that we have at Monash, for, um, which is used for a range of different things, including looking at um, structure of cells, um, um, structure in, in railways, um, and any, anything that you need to, um, you, you need sort of that visualisation to, to help with, with your research. Um, and OCAMP isn't just um, about the, the facilities, but it is um, about um, meeting other people and, and it is a bit of fun as well. So these were just some of the activities that we did uh, that, that were um, available this year at, at the camp that, that we did. So, um, so it is a bit of fun. Um, and I'm sure you've sort of seen, uh, uh, well, you've seen sort of a whole bunch of photos of, of students and you're probably wondering who, who they all are. Um, the advanced research degree, um, has um, its own student society, which is um, really nice because it means that again it provides that um, cohort or, or your sense of um, your, a sense of community because you get to know who the other students are who are studying advanced science, um, and um, that includes not only just the your cohort in terms of the first year students, but also into um, the the more senior students in third in terms of third year students and um, and and honors students as well. So they're affectionately known as Mass Cubed. Um, so they're the Monash Advanced Science Student Society, and they run a whole bunch of um, external activities as, as well. So they run the, the Mass Squared Student Conference, um, which is the Monash Advanced Science Student Showcase. Um, and again, it's a, it provides an opportunity for the advanced science students, so not just um, advanced um, research students, but it also includes the Global Challenges students um, and they and this society brings them all together uh, for, at a number of events. So MassCubed also organise things like study days, quiz nights, board games nights, pizza nights, um, so a range of different activities um, for um, students who are enrolled in the advanced research degree. So it's a fantastic group and, um, and I guess What's a little bit different here is that um, I interact quite closely with, um, with the society. And so we can also help co-plan um, activities as well. So, um, so it's, a, a nice, it's a nice society to, to, um, to look into once you, once you start your degree. So um, just to finish off in terms of the application process, um, you apply through VTAC um, as with um, the, the other courses. Um, you need a clearly in um, score is an ATAR over 95 and there are these prerequisites um, in terms of um, in terms of the the, um, the, the VCE requirements or, or equivalent if, if you're based in another state or if you do the ID as well. So that's all available online um, on our Monash website. Um, and um, just to finish off with with a quote from Martin Wren who um, was who's now uh, an alumni of um, the advanced research degree. Um, he said that the courses enabled him to accelerate his learning so he could take level three um, geoscience units 
and advanced chemistry units in, in his first year. So, um, so again, that sort of lends itself to that flexibility. Um, he's also been able to access a mentor and have, um, and he's also, and he was also offered three weeks of research, including overseas travel. So again, um, that's available once, um, once international travel is, is available to, to everybody as well. Um, and that's really uh, about it. So um, I will leave it there and um, take any questions. <laughs>